Hello and welcome back to Vitsik here. As I had mentioned in my previous video that I'll be trying out some new ideas and so here's my first video. It's on time value of money. I've tried a different format. I hope you guys like it. Please do share your views in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Vitsik here. See you soon. Hey there! I've been hearing about this time value of money concept in finance. Could you explain what that's all about? Of course. I'd be happy to help you understand the time value of money. It's a fundamental concept in finance that basically states that a sum of money today is worth more than the same sum in the future. In other words, the value of money changes over time due to factors like interest rates and inflation. Okay, got it. But why does money's value change over time? Good question. While the face value of a dollar remains constant, its purchasing power can change. Inflation, for instance, causes the prices of goods and services to increase over time. So, a dollar today might not buy you as much as a dollar in the future. That's why it's important to consider the time value of money when making financial decisions. I see. So, how does this relate to investing or borrowing money? Great question. The time value of money plays a crucial role in both investing and borrowing. When you invest money, you expect to earn a return over time. This return compensates you for the opportunity cost of not using that money elsewhere. On the flip side, when you borrow money, you're essentially paying a price for using someone else's funds. This price is often represented by the interest you pay. So, it's like saying that money has the potential to grow over time if invested wisely? Exactly. The concept recognizes that money can be put to work to generate more money. This is why it's important to factor in the time value of money when evaluating investment opportunities. It helps you compare the value of money today with the value it could have in the future after earning returns. Makes sense. But how do we actually calculate this time value of money? There are several tools and formulas to calculate the time value of money, but the most common one is the concept of present value and future value. Present value tells you what a future sum of money is worth today, while future value calculates what a current sum of money will be worth in the future after earning interest. You can use equations like the present value formula. PV equals FV open parenthesis 1 plus a close parenthesis to the power of n. Where PV is the present value, FE is the future value, R is the interest rate, and N is the number of time periods. Okay, got it. But does this concept only apply to money? While the term is time value of money, the concept can be extended to other resources and assets, like commodities, real estate, or even skills. Essentially, it's about understanding that the value of anything can change over time due to various factors, and it helps us make better decisions about how we allocate our resources. This is really fascinating. It seems like a fundamental idea that everyone should grasp to make informed financial choices. Absolutely. Understanding the time value of money empowers you to make more informed decisions about saving, investing, borrowing, and even spending. It's a powerful tool that can make a significant difference in your financial well-being over the long term. Thank you so much for explaining this to me. I feel like I've got a much clearer picture now.